my channel. Good evening or good morning to where you are guys right now that's watching me. Hi, my name is Rachel. I hope uh, mag-subscribe ka sa channel ko. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my vlog. And right now guys, maulan. So if ever man may naririnig kayo na parang medyo um, parang medyo pumapatak-patak yung ulan, um, that's the reason why. Kasi umuulan right now. But still, syempre mag-vlog pa rin tayo because um, etong video na to guys is a rejuvenating set 101. Nag-signal yung aking camera guys na malulobat nito siya. So hopefully, um, I can finish the video or else magka-transfer ako sa cellphone ko. But anyways guys, today's video is a rejuvenating set one-on-one. -on -one. Marami akong questions na natatanggap from you guys about rejuvenating set, na mga past na nagamit ko and the current ones na I'm using. So, I combine all of those questions and all of those information na based sa experience ko guys. Ha. Disclaimer lang, these are based on my experience. So, gusto kong i-share sa inyo my thoughts and my ideas, my one-on-one or my basic knowledge about sa mga rejuvenating set. So, yun ang gagawin natin. Excited na. First, ano ba talaga ang rejuvenating set? Um, minsan, malaking questions yan. Especially doon sa mga hindi aware kung ano yung mga rejuvenating set. Maraming brand actually. Uh, merong Skin Magical, may Boucher, uh, may Fairy Skin, may Luminous Skin. And dami-daming brands um, right now guys. Hindi ko lang siya ma-mention pero there is a lot of brands out there. Pero usually guys, iisa lang naman talaga yung kanyang layunin is para makapagparejuve ng iyong face. Siyempre, para makapag-renew ng skin mo. It's because when you use a rejuvenating set, nandyan talaga yung fresh yung skin mo, mas renewed, mas nakakabata. Mas nakakatulong sa mga melasma, sa mga dark spots, sa mga pimple marks, and some other problematic na um, issue with your skin sa face, syempre, ba? So, that's why there is a rejuvenating set. Now, there is a lot of brand. Hindi ako makakapag-recommend on which specific one or only one na brand ang marirecommend ko because there is a lot and syempre hiyangan yan, ba? May mga taong hiyang sa ganitong brand, sa ganitong product, or sa ganitong procedure. So, um... Kung pagdating sa brand guys, kayo nang bahala. Um, I'm gonna tell what I'm, what brand I'm using right now. Yun ang ginagamit ko personally. So, I will let you guys know kung ano yun later. And then, ano pa ba? After, what is rejuvenating set? Para saan ba yung rejuvenating set? Like I said, na-mention ka na rin. It is good for the skin para makapag-renew. And para makapagpaganda ng skin mo, makapag-enhance, ma-better yung skin mo. Especially if you have those kind of problematic um, problems sa face mo. And then, when should you start using a rejuvenating set? Now, ako guys, hindi ako dermatology. So, hindi rin naman ako doctor. So, I really recommend if you want to use a rejuvenating set. And below minor ka, please ask your um, doctor's advice or dermatologist or your nanay or your tata if you can do that. But for me, um, anywhere from 18 and above, and if you have, and you think na meron kang problem sa face mo, and if yung sagot is rejuvenating set, why not try? Because um, nakaka-help naman talaga yan. I'm gonna tell you guys kung ano yung ginagamit ko. Right now, I'm using the Luminous Skin. Ito siya guys. Ito yung kanyang toner. And then, ito yung sunblock. Um, I don't have the soap. Ito yung kanyang gluta soap. And then, ito yung kanyang rejuvenating cream. So, this is what I use. Bago pa lang to, guys. Pero, um, nakagamit na ako nyan. This is my new set na hindi ko pa nagagamit. Pinapakita ko lang sa inyo. That's what I use because um, mild siya. Okay, guys. I am back. Namatay yung aking um, camera right here. So, ang gamit ko lang right now, guys, is my cellphone. So, bear with me th with the quality. And, hindi ako masyadong sanay mag-film sa cellphone kasi usually titingin ako dito sa side na to. But, um, titingin talaga ako dapat dito sa side na to because, yan yung side na dapat nakakausap nyo ako and what not. So, yon. Balik na tayo ulit sa rejuvenating set na topic. Ito yung gamit ko, guys. Ito yung luminous. Ito yung kanyang soap, which is Kojic. Um, which is glutathione. Ito yung kanyang toner. Ito yung sunblock. And, ito yung kanyang rejuvenating cream. Now, ito yung gamit ko, guys, because I am on the stage na mild rejuvenating set na lang yung ginagamit ko. Because, ayoko nang masyadong mag-stick dun sa mga rejuvenating set na matapang. Because, syempre, pa nag overpeel din naman yung balat mo, hindi na rin siya maganda tignan. That's why, minsan, may mga cases na pag sobrahan ka nang gagamit ng rejuvenating set, you look like yung para kang lechon, na parang tinalupa, na tusino. May ganang effect. Ayan, humahangin sa likod ko, guys mga ganong effect na parang super nipis na ng balat mo and hindi naman yun yung gusto ko I want my skin to look natural as possible so that's why ang ginagamit ko na rejuvenating set is mild na lang para very micro peel na lang if I can insert a picture here or a video you guys can see na very very mild and very minimal 
yung kanyang um, pag-peel. And that's why yun yung ginagamit ko right now. And I'm very hiyang sa Luminous Rejuvenating Set. Ito yung mild version. Um, I will do a separate review about that guys. If you are interested, please um, leave me a comment down below. Kasi yun yung ginagamit kong rejuvenating set right now. Wala na ibang brands pa. So yun. And bibigay naman ako sa inyo ng mga tip guys about using rejuvenating set. basic na tip ko na may bibigay sa inyo guys when you are using a rejuvenating set is please stay away from the sun. Not stay away from the sun, na literal na hindi na kayo magpa-araw. But as much as possible, every time na lalabas ka, you wanna put on some sunblock, protectahan mo yung skin mo from the sun ray. So meaning to say, wag masyadong tumapat sa mga araw. Uh, Mag-protection ka, like using a, um, a sombrero, a payong, and stay away from those time na talagang super hitik na hitik yung araw. So, yun lang ang very number one number one, number one talaga na may titip ko sa inyo guys kasi if gumagamit kayo ng rejuvenating set, your skin is very prone to exposure, as in um, prone siya na magkaroon ng acne magkaroon ng mga sun damage and what not pa, because your skin is open, especially for those few days na gumagamit ka or nag-start ka palang gumagamit ng rejuvenating set, I really suggest na Try to leave it as is and protect your skin using a sunblock. Very important yan kasi um, like I said nga, minsan pag gumagamit ng rejuvenating set and mali yung iyong understanding, imbes na mapabuti yung gamit mo ng rejuvenating set, usually na mamali pa. Um, usually nasusunog pa yung mukha mo because there are ways and techniques on how to properly use a rejuvenating set and I'm proud to say for 2 years na akong gumagamit ng rejuvenating set I can definitely tell na or say to you guys na wala naman akong melasma I do have eye bags <laughs> I do have eye bags and I do have freckles here kasi natural na yun sa aking dugo mayroon talaga akong freckles and sometimes it goes away depende sa kanyang um, mood sometimes it is just right there so nasa dugo ko siya guys so lilitaw siya and lilitaw siya I do have a pimple mark here but other than that, wala ako masabi na meron akong melasma or nasunog ako because using rejuvenating set. Um, number one tip nga lang is wag magpa-araw ng sobra. If you are gonna go outside, um, gonna have a sun activity sa labas, make sure to wear sunblock, magpayong, magsumbrero, and please wear sunblock lang talaga. And minsan kahit nagko-commute kayo, kunyari nasa jeep, di ba? Nakasakay ka sa jeep. Yung hangin na sumasalubong sa'yo, feeling mo malamig yun and masarap pero actually guys, nakaka-burn na yun hindi naman kasi kailangan direkta na nakatapat ka sa araw para masunog ka minsan yung hangin lang is enough na makaburn sa skin mo and makakos na mga irritant so, I stay away from that so, huwag yun ang salubungin yung <laughs> yung hangin sa jeep or kung saan man kayo nakatapat, just stay away from that just, um, mag-cover kayo kung may panyo kayo, sa may mga panyo hindi ko maharap yung mga panyo, but if you guys have panyo, mag-cover kayo sa mata nyo yung ganun para hindi nasusunog yung skin eto dito, kasi usually eto yung pinakamabilis na masunog, kasi eto yung pinakamas exposed sa atin, ba? So, yon. Ano pa ba? Number two, or, or second tip na may bibigay ko sa inyo is very important din to. Pag gumamit kayo ng toner, guys, eto, kukuha na ako ng sample ko, guys, ha. So, if you guys are gonna use a rejuvenating toner, no matter what brand or kung ano mang level ng rejuvenating toner ang gamit nyo, ay, wala na palang cotton to. Dito na pa ako sa kabila. Yan, eto. So, kahit guys na ano ng rejuvenating set ng toner ang gamit nyo, this is very important when you're using a rejuvenating set na toner. The cotton pads. Yes, guys. Cotton pads. I only use cotton cotton, co cotton pads na flat like this or a cotton pad na circle. Either one. Basta flat siya, okay ako. Don't like to use yung cotton pad na circle or yung parang yung classic na na cotton yung nakabilog na ganyan. I don't like to use that because yun yung time na lagay ka ng lagay ng toner, hindi naman actually napupunta talaga sa sa, sa cotton. Usually napupunta lang siya, hindi naman talaga siya mapupunta sa face mo. Usually mapupunta lang talaga siya tuon sa cotton pad. So, I don't use that. I use a flat one like this or yung um, circle na meron din kasing circle na to guys. Eh. Basta as long it's flat like this, yan ang ginagamit ko yun ang pinaka-importante sa akin because mas mapupunta yung toner sa face mo um, ng mas mabuti when you're using a flat cotton pad or a cotton square. 
Okay, and then also when applying a toner, try not to rub. Yes guys, very very important yan. So if you are using a matapang na toner, usually mahapdi talaga yan. And um, for those days na nagpipil ka or may mga pimple ka dyan, mahapdi yan. And I must tell you, tiis ganda ka muna because that's how it is talaga pag gumagamit ng mga ganitong kind of product. Now, depende kasi may mga matapang na toner, meron namang mild, like this one that I'm using is very, very mild. So, hindi ako masyado makaramdam ng sting. Um, if may pimple ako, then just a little um, on those first few days na paggamit ko. Pero after the peeling, wala na siyang sting at all, as in zero. So, the cotton is like this. You put the toner, like that. And then, kung mahapde, you only do that. You only tap on the face upwards. Pag ganun lang, guys. Yan. Huwag niyong irarab. That's the number one mistake. Yung nirarab ng ganun na parang nagkukuskos ng pwet ng kawali. That is the very, very, very wrong way na gawin nyo tuwing naglilinis kayo ng mukha using a rejuvenating toner. Because, um, open na yung pores nyo. It is already micro-peeling or big peeling and may pimple ka dyan, or kung wala man, di ba, syempre may mga micropeel ka dyan, um, it's very important na wag mo siyang irab kasi mas maiirritate yung balat mo, mas masusunog, at the same time, may half day. So, the best way to do it is just um, tap, tap like that. I know it takes time, but that's okay because that's your skin, that's your face, you should take care of that, di ba? So, ganyan lang, yan. Now, kung hindi naman wala ng half day or what, um, you can do it faster as long na pa ganyan ganyan lang. Pa upwards para as at the same time na kapag lift ka ng face mo, ba? And then next naman is when you use a rejuvenating cream. Hindi kailangan makapal guys. I always tell all my friends, my clients, and whoever you guys that's watching me right now, manipis lang po ang paglagay ng rejuvenating set. As in like a dot lang. Here, 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 and here. About a pea size amount lang. So I will show you I'm gonna open this new set of mine. Um, naubos ko na kasi yung set ko just the last time. So, I'm gonna open a new one right here. So, you guys can see. Ito yung kanyang rejuvenating cream. It's uh, like a creamy white. And then, ganitong amount lang. Yan. Ganyan lang, guys. Pea size. Yan. As in, ganyan lang. Ayan, pwede nyo balikan. Ganyan lang ako maglagay. As in, I promise you guys, this is how I truly lagay <laughs> this is how I put my rejuvenating cream. Ganyang amount lang. A pea size lang talaga yung lagay ko. Onting-onti lang. Tapos ikakalat ko na lang yan sa face ko. Because I don't want a heavy rejuvenating cream. Because okay na naman sa akin na hindi makapal. And hindi mo naman kailangan maglagay ng makapal. Aside from, it's only 10 grams every time na may mga rejuvenating cream. 10 grams lang naman talaga yan. So you don't need to put a lot. Because ang purpose niyan is only a thin layer para... Um, maganda sa skin mo and you don't overdo it too much because there is a process of, of of how your skin will be when using a rejuvenating set. So first is you do the soap and then the toner and then the cream and then the sunblock in the morning. Now guys, very important, lagi natatanong sa akin, when does the peeling start? Um, the peeling start, it depends. May mga times or may mga skin type na hindi masyado nagpipil pero nagre-renew yung face. Yes, may ganun talaga ang mga instances na hindi mo napapansin na um, malalaki yung peel niya pero nagre-renew yung skin mo because may mga cases na very very minimal or almost to nothing yung iyong pagmamicropeel and hindi mo yan mapapansin guys. Usually kasi pa naghihilamos ka twice or three times a day doon mo na lang natatanggal yung mga extra dead skin cells and which is good if you have that kind of skin condition, di ba? Meron naman um, kahit mild lang na rejuvenating set, super big pill. Depende kasi ako, um, I have a dry and then mabilis ako mag-produce ng dead skin cells. Siguro dahil na rin sa edad. Um, that's why every time na naglalagay ako ng rejuvenating set, mapamild man or strong or medium pa man yan, um, I always get a micro peel, but that only happens on the fourth or mga ano, mga fourth or fifth day, and then after seven, eight, nine, ten days, wala naman na siya, guys. It only happens on the first two weeks of using it, and um, for me, lagi na tatanong din, um, kailan ba talaga nahikita yung result ng rejuvenating set? Ako, guys, in the first seven days, na na experience ko 
using rejuvenating sets, using different brands, ha? not specific one brand only, using different kind of brands, I see magic within 7 days. May mga times sa medyo matagal, but I see magic within 7 days. That's how it is. And um, up to now, that's why gumagamit pa rin ako ng rejuvenating set because I need it, I use it, and gusto ko kasi nagre-renew yung skin ko. And kasi syempre medyo maidad-idad na rin. And it is effective for me kasi to prevent my pimple and pampaalis na rin ng mga, talaga mga dead skin cells. That's why up to now, gumagamit pa rin ako ng rejuvenating set. So hopefully guys, nakatulong tong video na to para uh, magkaroon ka na idea about sa mga rejuvenating set. I know, hindi ko pa nataka lahat ng topic. I know there is a lot more. Pero if you guys can give me a comment down below, let me know kung ano yung pinaka-specific question mo about rejuvenating set, keep it coming as in, leave your comments down below na maraming marami so that the next time I will read your name, I will mention your question and do a shout out for you guys para mag-enjoy naman kayo and I can specifically answer the specific question that you have for me because right now yung ginawa kong video is just based upon my idea and how I do or use my rejuvenating set throughout the time. So, um, hopefully guys, I can do a part 2 of this video kasi I know there is a lot more questions and a lot more issues that I need to tackle about um, rejuvenating sets. So, um, tatapusin ko na muna yung video na to guys. I hope nag-enjoy ka. I hope you give me a comment down below. I hope okay mag-film sa cellphone and hindi masyadong maingay kahit umuulan. So, tatapusin ko na yung video na to guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you guys next time. Bye!